favorite Christmas song? The Pogues for me. The Pogues. Yeah, fairy Tale in New York. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah always. A good one. Oh, yeah, we're not Megan. all the same, are we? I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what the Pogues is? Megan. Me? Megan. Yeah. No, see, like, you can't just spring a question like that. I think you need a bit of time to oh, think about God. that. Oh, God. Everyone, Pete Snodden here. Now, 2020 has been a difficult year uh, for everyone. But as Northern Ireland football fans, one of the biggest gifts we've been given this year is the fact that our women's team have qualified for a playoff for the European Championships in 2022. And I thought it would be a great time of the year to catch up with our history makers. Hello, history makers! <laughs> 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 Bring a wave if you want, if you know the um, Hi, everybody. Listen, first up, know that all the Northern Ireland fans are so unbelievably proud of everything that you all have achieved. In, in recent times and now we're in the position where the Euros in 2022 is within touching distance. Um, Marissa, I'll start with you. Just put into words what this means. Um, yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, it's kind of hard to put into words because a few years ago this this wasn't something that we thought was possible. Um, once we kind of got together to start the campaign, we knew that our group was, was a tough group. I think um, when we got the, the two draws against um, Wales, that's when, when we kind of start believing. And, you know, Kenny and Dean and the rest of the staff kind of instilled a real kind of belief and togetherness within the camp. And here we are, um, yeah, sitting today, history makers. And, you know, Euro 2022 um, is the big dream. And, you know, you never know. Um, roll on April and we'll be as prepared as we can. And, yeah, we really look forward to it. Chances are, and anybody who's watching this right now, everyone's had their challenges. Just want to go around each of you, just to say, 2020, how you would sum it up? And I suppose, I don't know, for me personally, I think we've, we've all probably learned something about ourselves and have a lot to be thankful for in 2020, particularly if you have your health. So if we start with Megan, what are you thankful for this year? Probably family, because I know during lockdown, I spent a lot of time at home. Um, I moved away July of last year. Um, and I was away for a long period of time. So during lockdown, I was able to be home and spend time with people that um, were closest and meant the most to me. So I'll be really thankful for that. But yeah, I'm just I'm just thankful that I did get to spend some quality time with my family and, you know, because we don't get the opportunity normally um, with working away from home. So I'm just thankful for that. And I mean, it's been the best year of my life, football-wise, with Northern Ireland as well. So. Yeah, you've just got to you've just got to look at the positives in that, and I appreciated the time I had with my family and the Northern Ireland girls, and I think you know it's been fantastic for us. Yeah, like family is so important, um, but also I think we're all very thankful to be a part of elite sport. You know, I think we're one of the very lucky ones that we're able to continue throughout lockdown. And you know, like Fernie says, like I don't think if it wasn't for our club teammates and you know our international teammates, that it would have been a much tougher time than it was. Because I think obviously. Um, like everybody says, 2020 was a, a tough time mentally for everybody, but you know, we're very lucky to be involved in team sports and I think that that really seems through. My partner gave birth to uh, our young son in November last year um, and obviously she's been on maternity, from, she was on maternity for a full year, so the lockdown meant that I was able to spend a lot of time with him and seeing him grow up, you know, in his first year. Um, I have to say 2020 has been an unbelievable year for me, um, personally. Spent a lot of time away from home and then obviously when lockdown came um, I got to go home for uh, a lot longer than obviously expected so I'm thankful for um, my family and that they've come through this as well with um, full health. Finally Simone, I know you're most thankful for just the team getting the job done. Yeah exactly, you know, I've just kind of topped it all off but yeah I think you know this last year you know if it's taught us anything it's you know what to be thankful for you know we took maybe so much for granted and obviously to have all that taken away when we were in a lockdown you, you sit back and you realize what's truly really important in life and obviously you know we got to spend time with our families and switch off from the world for a period of time which was somewhat nice but in other ways you know like all the girls have said we're blessed in many ways that you know we were part of a team and we had a group of girls that yeah we couldn't be with them physically but you know we were we were with each other on this journey together. Ken's team, Josh McGuinness, picks the tunes in the dressing room. Which one of you guys picks the tunes? <laughs> None of us, we're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Julie Nelson, she just rules the roost. 
<laughs> she does I've, got the most ca- I've got the most caps, so I'll pick the music. Is that the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't question it. You don't question it. <laughs> you might get a request. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> like, if, yeah. It up, if it was up to Simone and I me, mean, like, we would have some Mamma Mia and stuff on, but we got like, all these TikTok songs and stuff now. Just, I don't even know what they are. If you would come to the party uh, with some Christmas jokes. Oh, so who has done their homework? <clears throat> What goes O O O? O O O. Santa walking backwards. <laughs> Simone, you <laughs> took my joke. I've got one. Go ahead, Bernie. Every, everyone's too thirsty at the North Pole. Everyone's too thirsty at the North Pole. No well, no well. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Bernie. <laughs> what did Alan say to Eve the day before Christmas? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. That's one. Um, what's the best Christmas present in the world? A drum, you just can't beat it. Ah, <laughs> Everybody was on the same Google <laughs> <and I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> See, I think I've done my homework wrong. Oh, no. Because you just came up with a joke. Yeah, I, it's yeah. not really a Christmas joke, but it's a Christmas cracker joke, so it kind of counts. Okay, go ahead. Um, what Your do you call just... what do you call a woman standing in between two goalposts? Anna. 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 <laughs> Santa's favorite singer, Elvis Presley. There you go. Oh, that's Fernie. That was good, Fernie. <laughs> The same website that we were all yes. on. I think 2021 has so much for us all to look forward to, and fingers crossed some sort of normality, but a huge uh, set of games um, for you in terms of going to Euro 2022. Um, I know you all want to obviously win that and take us to the European Championship, which will be amazing, but what other hopes and dreams do you have for next year? It's, it's not a hard one, to be fair. I'd love to get promoted with Liverpool and get back in the top league. Mm. Uh, shush you um, so then I can kick Simone um, <laughs> yeah so I'd love to get promoted with Liverpool um, I'm going to go out like kind of football related I'm going to go on my UEFA B coaching badge um, next year to kind of start a plan for active football but yeah my hopes and dreams obviously get to the, win the playoff with Northern Ireland and get promoted with Liverpool would be fantastic I think um, my hopes and dreams took a little bit of a turn about three weeks ago. So uh, I just think, um, obviously, with getting like the operation and stuff soon, that going into the new year, that I just kind of hit my rehab on point and you know be back as as soon and as fit as I can be. Um, and then obviously with the Northern Ireland girls, like I'll be with them every step of the way. And for me, the first six months of the year, that's what my aim will be. For me, Northern Ireland wise, I would love to get back into the squad for the playoffs. That would be a massive aim for me. Um, obviously because I've been out for quite a while and missed a couple of camps. Um, and club-wise, I would love to win the league with Rangers and obviously qualify for the Champions League, um, which would be really exciting. Just as, as Fernie touched on, I'm hoping to do my lessons this year as well because obviously I need to start thinking beyond you know, my playing career. I am getting a little bit older as the years go on, so um, yeah. yeah, a big focus is, <laughs> is, to, is to get my badges and, and start thinking kind of after football. Um, Obviously, my little son, the aim is to get him walking and hopefully we can get him out on the pitch to start kicking the ball and force the left foot onto him. To reiterate what they said, like with, obviously with the Northern Ireland girls, um, the playoff is a massive thing um, for us all and it's something that probably a lot of us will be focusing on um, coming in. Just start actually well right now, you know, the work starts now and yeah, it's something that um, I can't wait for as well and obviously hopefully to stay um, injury free and fit and healthy and I spend as much time um, as I can with with the family going back as we said you know sometimes you can take things for granted and this year I think has taught us that yeah to um, spend as much time as we can with our closest ones. Once again on behalf of all the fans thank you so much for giving us all something to look forward to next year and fingers crossed come spring you'll be able to do it and get us to the Euros. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. (laughs) On behalf of all the senior women's team, we just want to wish you all Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Merry Christmas. So there you have it, our history makers. Many thanks 
um, to each of the girls for joining us uh, on our call today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the chat and best luck to them going into the playoffs in 2021. Uh, wishing you and yours a very healthy, happy and prosperous 2021. Thanks for watching.